Louis Walsh has reignited his bitter feud with former X Factor stars Jedward, branding them vile during last night's Celebrity Big Brother. What would Jedward like? <laughs> they were vile. But they've done well. But they were great for the show. They did. I, I got five million quid for them. Now. I swear on my mother's life. I wish I had a Jedward. And they were vile. <sighs> but there were novelty. It was great for the show. Yeah, it was all works. about the show. Pop star twins were quick to respond, accusing their former mentor of being spiteful and disrespectful. First of all, Louis Walsh was never our manager. We met him four times. He never sent us flowers and disrespect to our mom multiple times. He tried to get us into dodgy contracts, which without our mom, we would have signed. He wanted us to sign advice. our life away to people that we're not going to name, who've done all sorts to all his boy bands and girl bands. And how dare you on television trying to find us when you're all those things. Gosh, joining me in the studio now to unravel this twisted Gordian knot, showbiz journalist Rebecca Toomey. So nice to see you, you Rebecca. Too. So what, what was going on there? Obviously, Louis uh, in the Big Brother house is very much like Louis outside the Big Brother house. I've had the pleasure of hanging out with him on quite a few occasions. And he does like to shove the knife and he does like to gossip and he does like attention. And he does like to stir the pot. He knows what he's doing. He's a reality TV veteran. Mm -hmm. He knows in the Big Brother house what's going to keep him in the house. It's interesting that he was up for nomination and eviction this the last couple of days so he's trying to save his skin I think by creating headlines so by lashing out at Jedward and sort of saying they're vile that they, they made me five million I think he knew very much that that was going to create some headlines and and Louis is quite a cheeky chap anyway and I think he does do a lot of things with a little little cheeky wink <laughs> on the other hand vile is 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 quite a strong word I mean, yeah, it's just nasty. Say, we didn't get on he didn't just say oh I don't like them much he didn't just say they're an acquired taste to call a couple of lads vile is quite extreme. And I'm imagining he would have thought that they would um, respond, which they have. And Jedward are, are nice characters. They were so popular, so well loved in, in the X Factor family. And you've met them, I've met them quite a few times. They were just fun. I, I've never, ever heard in my whole showbiz career anyone say anything negative about Jedward, you know, as their personalities. You can dislike their music, that's fine. But as people, they're perfectly professional, nice celebrities, and they've got lots of celebrity friends. They've got Tara Reid, Gemma Collins, people that enjoy their company. So tell us about the Gemma Collins factor here, because is it true they were just round at Gemma's house? Yes, yes. Happening to be watching Celebrity yes, Big Brother, yes. just like the rest of us. Yes. I definitely was watching it. And, uh, and, and, and Gemma was cooking them a roast or something. Gemma Collins from the Only Way is Essex, she's, she's a very sort of loving person. She likes to cook people, have people round, but almost like mama bear. Yeah. And I think she takes those two under her wing a bit, like lots of people she does. And she defended them as well, saying, you know, why would I be friends with these people if they were those things? I mean, uh, you wonder kind of what the repercussions will be because I think those in the business knew that there'd been a big falling out mm -hmm. between Jedward and Louis Walsh and I have a pretty good idea why as well. Well, it, like they just mentioned, that it's to do with contracts, but Louis Walsh has fallen out with a lot of people. Let's remember what he said about Ronan Keating yes, last exactly. night. Yes, exactly. He wasn't very complimentary. I don't actually want to repeat the word, but he wasn't very complimentary about Ronan Keaton. He's never been very nice about Cheryl, Cheryl Cole. He even made a dig last night saying Girls Aloud and talking about Nadine being such a brilliant singer, mm. but not mentioning the others. And also to Fern Britton. He said even Fern looks good, and it did reek a bit of ageism and, and sexism. And he said it several times. When, and... when the ladies asked him to stop, yes. he bashed on, you know, with that idea, and it, it wasn't kind. I mean, the, one of the things about being in Big Brother, I've been in it twice, yeah. I have some idea of it, is what you haven't got is a kind of barometer of anybody telling you how you're going over. So unless you've got a good self-edit voice in your own yeah. head saying, well, don't say that, that won't be nice. You know, you think that's funny. People might not think that's funny. Don't say it. Yeah. You could, you know, you could really say a whole lot of things and, and, and very badly damage your own reputation if you're not careful. Yeah, and do you remember when you were in it, the boredom that's in the Big Brother house, how many hours, yes. I remember to each of us before, yes. how many hours were there? What can I, especially if you're a certain level of intelligence, you need to have some level of stimulation. So I can imagine stirring that pot, saying a few things and thinking, ah, oh, now I'm entertained and everyone else is entertained as well. So do you think Jedward are just going to keep running with this? I mean, obviously, this is a lot of attention, a lot of focus on them. 
do they want this for their career? Does this make them suddenly more relevant than they were the day before <laughs> yesterday or what? Dear God, Vanessa, please don't let them unleash more music on us. Let's just hope you that know that's what happen. we're all waiting for. Come on, we've got an election coming up. We need some more Jedward music, don't we? Everybody does. That might be a nice smoke screen to everything else going on politically. But I think Jedward are popular characters anyway on social media. I think people just enjoy them having a quick moment, but I'm not confident they're ready to be relaunched, I'm afraid.